look, I mean, if we had something to hide, we wouldn't have met with them in the first place. I came away good about the session. I think they found it to be useful. Yeah, Adam. Mr. President, did, did, did yes. the, don't you think that the families deserve to have a transcript or to be able to see what <laughs> Adam, you said? Adam, you asked me that question yesterday. For an I got the today. same answer, yeah. May 19th, 2004. Rudolph Giuliani testifies before the 9-11 Commission. We will now hear from our first witness, the very distinguished uh, former mayor of New York City, Rudy Giuliani. Uh, Mayor, Giuliani, Mayor Giuliani, would you please rise and raise your right hand and place you under oath. And the fact that so many of them interpreted it that way kept a much calmer situation and a much better evacuation. These people, these people... Thomas Kane and Lee Hamilton will later claim in their book, Without Precedent, that they were too soft on Mayor Giuliani. One of the questions they failed to ask was who warned him that the South Tower was going to collapse. Mr. Mayor, can you hear me? I can, Peter. Are you talking about the office? Did you go immediately to the Office of Emergency Management? Uh, I, I went down to the scene, and we set up uh, headquarters at 75 Barclay Street, which was right there with the police commissioner, the fire commissioner, and we were operating out of there when we were told that the World Trade Center was going to collapse, and it did collapse before we could actually get out of the building. Who didn't warn everyone in the building? I admire that greatly, and I think that may... The 9-11 Commission would release its final report on July 22, 2004, and closed its doors on August 21st. So the 9-11 Commission was a cover-up. The question is what it was covering up. The charitable explanation is gross negligence, malfeasance, misfeasance, and whatever you call it, okay? If you can't read all 571 pages of the report, in August 2006, the 9-11 Report comic book was released. It should tell you all you need to know. On the morning of September 11th, 19 Arabs boarded four commercial airliners at three different airports and crashed them into the World Trade Center and the Pentagon with zero military intervention. Or, we have been and continue to be lied to about the events of September 11th and that elements within the United States government and mainstream media continue to cover up the truth. These are the same people that lied about weapons of mass destruction. They endorsed a lie that's killed several hundred thousand innocent people overseas. Could they also endorse a lie that killed almost 3,000 innocent people in our own country? Our entire foreign and domestic policy has been based upon the events of September 11th. It has enabled the passage of Patriot Act 1 and 2. Established the Department of Homeland Security. Facilitated the invasions of Afghanistan and Iraq. And used to pass the Military Commissions Act, which officially ended habeas corpus. Habeas corpus uh, in Latin means you have the body. It's a provision in the law where no one can just scoop up someone, put them in a black hole and keep them there without that person having the right to appeal to a court and say, you have the body, now what do you charge this person with and what redress does he or she have? As well as domestic surveillance, all in the name of fighting terrorism. And who ends up paying for all this? You do. Your children do. When President Bush entered office, 
he inherited a $284 billion surplus. His administration is now responsible for four out of the top five deficits in history. The fifth place belongs to his father. As of November 2, 2005, the Bush administration had borrowed more from foreign nations than all previous administrations combined. From 1776 to 2000, 42 presidents borrowed a total of $1.01 trillion from foreign governments and institutions. From 2001 to 2005, the Bush administration alone borrowed $1.05 trillion. Where does this money go? The government designed by the people, for the people, has turned its back on us. Or have we turned our backs on it? They spy on us. They torture and imprison innocent civilians. Ask yourself, what's happening? Where are we headed? And would we be here today without 9-11? Will somebody please tell us who's in charge? We need order. We can't stand this new world slaughter. It reeks of oil, see some bloody handshakes, U.S. interests, and war profiteers. Our life is here in the belly of the beast. The thieves kill the innocent and pray for peace. Slaughter for the chief commander. So we're at the White House steps, demanding answers, but they don't got none. We've got few choices, protest to pick up shotguns. We're so stressed, we know the watch them out arrest us, go with the Keep it talking. And we ain't made no death threats. Feds upset, so our phones infested. Think John Lennon resurrected. Sticking to the power till we have no breath. We left. say no more. We're gonna fight back. We want the truth out. We want our rights back. Loose change. Change is loose, no stopping now. Change is loose, no stopping now. We say no more. We're gonna fight back. We want the truth out. We want our rights back. Loose change. Change is loose, no stopping now. Changes looks for stopping now. We keep our mouths and minds open, hoping we can change the world. Media blackout, still we don't act out. We've been civilized despite the killing. You call yourself patriots, label us villains. My comrades and nomads get up on free thinkers, rich kids, poor kids, lawyers and teachers, dads, moms, past war veterans, peddling the truth. We ain't settling. The proof is clear as water. Yeah, you got a lot of hate trying to charm us with a pride of faith. What are you, an asshole? Your war's illegal. Your cause is evil. Your bomb people. As red nuts with a sequel, you're a sicko psycho. We've seen the proof. You can't intimidate the world from delivering truth. We're bigger than you. 40 million plus. Your guns ain't big enough to make us hush. We say no more. We're gonna fight back. We want the truth out. We want our rights back. Loose change. Change is loose, no stopping now. Change is loose, no stopping now. We say no more. We're gonna fight back. We want the truth out. We want our rights back. Loose change. Change is loose, no stopping now. Changes looks no stopping We now. do this for the lives lost, devoured by evil, for the sake of the memory of innocent people, engulfed by the gluttony of hooligans who leave the world in ruins. Men here to do a sin, but there's just a few of them and more of us. We warriors on the quest for justice. We crush the lies, trust only the facts. Just open your eyes. Who really attack? My feelings exactly. Facts be lacking on the hijack and secret eyes. War games facilitated plane crashes. And they wonder why we keep asking questions. Am I lesson lady liberty? Like it's a profession. So here we are, the infantry. We the people simply need to start a revolution of our minds. And eventually the crime of the century will finally be solved. And Joe then we say tall. I say no more. We're going to fight back. We want the truth out. We want our rights back. Loose change. Change is loose, no stopping now. Change is loose, no stopping now. We say no more. We're gonna fight back. We want the truth out. We want our rights back. Loose change. Change is loose, no stopping now. Change is loose, no stopping now. Remember this. Your government.